battery, sensors that can detect whether it's tampered with, all the while consuming less than 50 microwatts, costing less than a fraction of a penny. So this is something, why are they doing this? They would say the reason that they're doing this, and of course, SHIELD, from their standpoint, stands for Supply Chain Hardware Integrity for Electronics Defense. They're saying they're going to put this inside every integrated circuit. Mm. Uh, it's going to be able to determine if it's being watched, presumably self-destruct, if it's being uh, analyzed, if somebody's trying to reverse engineer this, it'd be able to self-destruct. It would be able to communicate wirelessly again. It is encrypted. Uh, and it harvests the energy, so it doesn't need to have a battery, but they're going to put this in every electronic circuit that is going to go through the Defense Department so they can authenticate that it hasn't been tampered with, that it's something that's for real. But of course, the potential for abuse with this is massive. Yeah, I mean, it's just so frightening, and there really is no end to the control grid that's being built up around us. Yes. I mean, they even have dust that they can spray on trees out in nature. Yes. So you think you're out in the in the woods hiding or something, but they can track you there. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. It's I, I don't understand it. Well, like I said, their, their thirst for control, their thirst for power is insatiable. Thank you for joining us, Leanne. When we come back, we're gonna be talking to Wayne Madsen about an article that's on Infowars.com. Yes, pedophilia is back in Pennsylvania and there's some connections that we've seen before. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser with concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others. Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different cleansing products. We use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Now, one of the familiar themes that we've seen since 9-11 is that whenever you have a whistleblower pointing out criminal actions by those in power, especially in the government, it turns out that the government comes against the whistleblower and not against those committing the crime. Is this what's happening now in Pennsylvania? In an article by Wayne Madsen, pedophile enabling prosecutors and officials try to run a PA attorney general out of office. They say the attorney general is up against a powerful phalanx of Sandusky and Penn State pedophilia cover-up artists. This is a very detailed article from Wayne Madsen, and Wayne Madsen joins us now to break it down. Welcome, Wayne. Hi, good to be with you. Now, break down for those of us who aren't in Pennsylvania, break down the players a little bit. Tell us a little bit about this attorney general who is now under fire. As you point out in your article, she's the first Democrat female attorney general. She was very popular. She got more votes than Obama did. Uh, tell us what's going on. Break down uh, her relationship with these people and what you point out is a bipartisan attack against her. Yes, well, Kathleen Kane is the attorney general. She was basically elected to clean up the mess in uh, the attorney general's office in the state capitol, Harrisburg, 
Uh, we do know that her predecessor, Tom Corbett, who later became uh, governor of Pennsylvania, was very, very active in covering up uh, the, the Sandusky uh, matter when Sandusky was first charged officially in 1998 uh, with, uh, 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 you know, the, the lewd and lascivious acts with uh, underage males at Penn State. Uh, Corbett was the attorney general. He, he, he basically went into cover-up mode, uh, then became governor, and he appointed Louis Free to investigate the, the Penn State matter. And Louis Free, of course, uh, is another cover-up artist. I don't, I don't think I need to remind people that he was the FBI director uh, just uh, up very, you know, a week away f from 9-11. Uh, mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, he skated all responsibility for his actions up till then. But anyway, what we've right. seen happen is, is this, uh, 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 just this group going after Attorney General Kane, who was very proactive in going after th this pedophile network. Now you mentioned this is a bipartisan effort. It also involves a newspaper there, the Philadelphia Inquirer. Tell us about that. Yes, uh, the Philadelphia Inquirer and, and its sister paper, the Daily News, the Allentown Morning Call. Actually, Kane is being attacked by most of the uh, uh, media in Pennsylvania. They're very much tied into this bipartisan effort to unseat her. It's not only uh, the uh, uh, district attorney of Philadelphia, who's a Democrat, who actually hired uh, some of Corbett, uh, former attorney general, former governor Corbett's prosecutors. They were at these prosecutors who were supposed to be investigating Sandusky were actually sending and receiving uh, pornographic images, including very suggestive uh, uh, images that, that were, I, I looked at the, the stuff, it was in the exhibits that were uh, released by an investigating judge. It, it's very close in my estimation uh, to child pornography. They weren't doing it to research this. Mm -hmm, they were doing mm -hmm. it to entertain themselves. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to those pictures in a minute. But, but getting back to where Kane is, uh, as you point out in your article, a lot of people thought she was a loose cannon. She made a, a statement that you report here in your article. She said there's two types of evil. The first is violent and destructive acts. The second is when people stand back in the face of evil. And you point out that indicated that uh, she really, that that's one of the things that made her popular with people because they've seen this long history of cover-up uh, from both parties in terms of Sandusky, in terms of Penn State. This is a very popular uh, coach with a very uh, important college team there to everybody. So they just look the other way, they cover all this up, and there's this network, as we always see, of the powerful political figures that are connected, and they always seem to have some connection to pedophilia as well, don't they? If we remember, the Sandusky had a charity called the Second Mile Foundation, and its uh, purpose was to help uh, troubled youth, uh, troubled teens. And, 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 and it was quite clear that what Sandusky was running was basically a, a child prostitution operation. And, and, and many of the people who donated money to Second Mile, of course, were taking advantage uh, of, of their uh, good graces with Sandusky uh, to get access to some of these uh, teens who were uh, being taken care of by Second Mile, especially some very wealthy and influential people in the Philadelphia area, particularly Montgomery County, which is the location of the Philadelphia main line. Very, very wealthy, always has been very wealthy. And isn't it funny that the, the district attorney who's indicted Kane, Attorney General Kane, for leaking grand jury information, what this grand jury information was were these emails sent by her former prosecutors that she fired containing all these uh, lewd and lascivious uh, photographs um, that, that the, the uh, district attorney, the county district attorney that indicted her is the one from Montgomery County. She is a Republican, uh, but uh, Ed Rendell, the former Democratic governor, uh, has, is really behind the effort also to unseat Attorney General Kane who, as you mentioned earlier, is, is Pennsylvania's first female, first Democratic governor. So she's getting attacked by the Democrats and the Republicans. But look, if you want to look at the history of this uh, Penn State uh, Sandusky uh, matter, and it goes far beyond Penn State. It, it also affects Villanova. A similar thing went on there with John DuPont, uh, the guy who actually uh, uh, killed a, a wrestler, uh, Dave Schultz, in 1996. Oh, yeah, he they just had a movie made about that. Yes, absolutely. And he was praying. He was praying on young uh, students, uh, uh, male students at Villanova and seminarians. And uh, it's connected. It's absolutely connected. You know, uh, uh, Cardinal Bellavacqua was getting ready to testify 
uh, and, and he died the day before he was going to testify. Uh, he, uh, they, in, in, in this uh, uh, district attorney in Montgomery County, uh, basically uh, didn't know that his body had been released by the hospital, so they could never do an autopsy. Mm. And uh, his, he was embalmed at 1130 uh, in the evening. Uh, so it's quite clear, you know, there was foul play there to keep this guy because Bellavaca was apparently going to tell all about not only uh, the problems in his the archdiocese in Philadelphia, but the whole thing, Penn State, Villanova, the whole nine yards, and he conveniently uh, dies. And, they, and of course, we still don't know what the cause of death was because there was no autopsy. Yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, so so uh, Pope Francis is, is actually visiting Philadelphia, and this is what he's stepping into. This is still there's still repercussions in Philadelphia and throughout Pennsylvania with the Sandusky matter. And uh, I do I do not uh, uh, relish uh, what the what the uh, Pope Francis is going to have to deal with when he visits uh, the, the archdiocese in Philadelphia. Let's get back. That, that's a great background. And we can see this has a long history. It's pervasive, as you just pointed out. Let's talk about the specifics of this particular case. You've got a graphic there. You call it Porngate. You've got uh, a couple of top people there at the center of this, Frank Fina and Mark Costanza. These are the two prosecutors that uh, Attorney General Kane, who is now being attacked herself, she fired these two prosecutors. Tell us a little bit about this graphic that we see in the article. Yes, that, that basically shows that Fina and Costanza were uh, actually uh, sending and receiving these lewd and lascivious um, uh, emails containing these pornographic images. They even were sending them to a member, a, a justice on the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. Uh, of course, he uh, uh, he re he resigned. He didn't say it was over that matter. Uh, but uh, but you know the question is, what did the chief justice know? And his name is Ron Castile, and he's a former district attorney, Republican district attorney in Philadelphia. So you know this is a bipartisan. Uh, porn gate, uh, yeah. as the graphic uh, indicates, mm -hmm. and um, uh, what, what we're seeing is is uh, you know what they want to do is get rid of Kane so they can go back to the status quo ante where they have Pennsylvania uh, Pennsylvania Attorney General that will not investigate uh, these matters. Yeah. And look, this goes back to 1979 when Sandusky first started his operation. Uh, it goes back to Governor Milton Schapp, and it includes every Democrat and every Republican, Thornburg, Tom Ridge, uh, Bob Casey, uh, uh, all of them uh, up till the present one. And present uh, 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 governor, Tom Wolf, is a Democrat, and he's called for the Democratic Attorney General Kathleen Kane to resign. It's amazing. It's amazing. As you point out, this is bipartisan. It is always there. We always see that. And if people want to see an example of the depravity of these prosecutors who were fired, you've got a couple of pictures here. You got uh, a little toddler standing up in front of a computer terminal uh, looking at a woman. You got another baby with a Playboy magazine being held up to it. These are the images that these prosecutors who were fired by Kane were passing around. And now, because of that depravity, that corruption that she fired them for, they're coming after her. Exactly what we have seen happening over and over and over again since September 11th. It's this kind of corruption in the government. Wherever anything that is wrong is exposed, you go after the, the people who are exposing it, not the ones who committed the crime. Thank you so much, Wayne, for uh, explaining that to us. This is a very detailed article. People need to take a look at this. This is a good example of what's going on throughout the country. It's not mm. limited to Pennsylvania, as Wayne Madsen pointed out. That's all the time we have. Thank you so much for joining us, Wayne Madsen. And if you're not a supporter of Prison Planet TV, please support our operation and become a member. That's it for tonight. Join us at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. A clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser with concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others. Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different
different cleansing products. We use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.